Hey guys, welcome again to Archland. So we have another banner. Um, this is going to be Sighard. Um, he's going to be available on January 4th to January 17th. So that's again two weeks. Um, just making sure that you guys have an opportunity to get him because he was actually available in the, um, I think the beginner banner in which you're guaranteed one SSR. So he was one of the characters there or the heroes there. Um, if you didn't have a chance to get him in that banner, you might as well get him here. And I'll tell you why. Because I've been using him for quite a while. I'll be showcasing my own um, Sighard later after, you know, after everything else. So again, I'm also going to be putting out my, my verdict for, you know, if you should summon for him hard because he's sig hard but before that let's go to um let's go to my own sig hard here because i have him already at i chose him over lena because i did have um charlotte to begin with to start so i got charlotte probably later already um i didn't do a reroll a hard reroll because I wanted to play the game as soon as possible because I was late already in playing this game. I was late for two weeks. So I had to catch up. So I got Sighard as my primary DPS. And boy, oh boy, I didn't really, um, you know, I didn't really have, you know, I didn't regret getting him. So, so far, he's one of the best DPS um, tanks. He's a pseudo tank in a way. He can, you know, he can take a lot of hits. Um, very, very good kit, um, has, um, a mid, -ra mid range damage as well. Um, also can, you know, can recover HP as, um, he is actually good at. He can also, he, and, and the, the, and the HP recovery is actually built into his kit. And also for, for him, he can convert buffs to debuffs from the enemy. So that's an ad additional, you know, something for him as well. Great survivability. Can also trigger additional attacks thanks to his unique passive. And um, just have to make sure that um, this is the one. This, the, this is his unique passive. So again, there's a lot in his kit. Right now, what I do is I pair him with Charlotte for my DPS. It's red and green. Uh, sorry, it's it's red and blue. So he's fire, she's water. So they're they're actually good. Sometimes they cover DPS already. I just need one more DPS for lightning. So let's go back to Sighard. So again, um, he is a must summon, guys. I'm I'm afraid. So um, if you want a more formidable uh, front line, if you don't have a tank, he can actually tank for you. So let's go to his traits. So far, the, the trait line that I got is actually the first one and the middle one. So, so far, a very, very good um, kit. And this is the other passive that he has if you want to switch one reactive skill to a passive. So, this one is additional HP recovery. So, again, it's insane. He, he has good survivability. If you want to trade off um, a little bit of damage for survivability, then you have this. Okay. So let's uh, do some showcase for Sighard. Okay, so let's have a showcase with Sighard and let's see how he does. Okay, guys, so this is it. Let's just uh, skip this one. You need to defeat this stage and in three and two, two turns. So again, he has a passive here. Let's just hold this one. This is giving him additional HP. Then Okay, so let's just uh, go back and... Not enough anger. So let's just uh, attack this kid over here. Okay. So far, that's good. This is the second turn already. I think this would be a simple um, completion. Let's see how this goes. And there you go. A lot of damage for Sighard. Um, really a no-brainer in terms of um, how to complete this one. So more or less, guys, tough, very tough Sighard. Um, in terms of um, damage, he has a lot. Survivability is a lot. 
can be paired with Charlotte. And what can I say? I think he's also a must get. I'm sorry. A apart from you guys um, getting, you know, it, it really depends on what you're prioritizing right now, what you need. If you already have Sighard, obviously, for like me, I'm going for Catherine. If you prefer more of a partner for for Charlotte, then go for Sighard because both of them are going to be a you know a headache when dealing with in any situation either pvp or pve so again he's also a must summon so thank you very much guys for staying this far take care stay safe this is the warden and i'm out of here